Within today's gear guide, we will be looking at the Harrier Exmoor waterproof jacket and Dartmoor waterproof pants. Now, for those who are unfamiliar with the Harrier brand, they were founded in 2020 by Kate McKenzie. They're based just outside of the Peak District. And essentially, you won't find them in shops. You'll only find them exclusively through their own website. And their aim is to provide affordable kit for trail and fell runners at a really high quality. Now, you may be wondering why we're filming a waterproof jacket on a day like today when there is barely a cloud in the sky. And the reason for this is twofold. One, it's because it's a really nice day and we just wanted to get out of the office. And two, filming in the rain is really, really miserable. And our cameraman, Nick, doesn't want to ruin his camera doing that. So today was the day. But also it's worth highlighting that waterproof jackets like this aren't necessarily for just when it's raining. They're really useful for days where it can be quite chilly, when there's a bit of a breeze, and just providing protection from the elements. So we're justified. Today's a good day to film. Now the Exmoor is Harrier's first waterproof jacket. They've produced other items, such as their poles, and their very popular packs. And again, each have the same thing in common, and they provide really good value for money. And the Exmoor is no exception of this. It retails on an absolute bargain, it's 89 pounds, which is pretty much the cheapest running specific waterproof out there. Now, in spite of its price, it is fully loaded with features. And a lot of whether you like this jacket or not will come down to whether or not you are a features person or someone that prefers a more minimalist jacket with fewer features. We'll go into these features in greater detail shortly, but let's contextualize the jacket first. So 340 grams, it's light, but it's nowhere near the lightest out there. But it's not trying to be. There tends to be a bit of a spectrum in between the lightest and the most functional. And this definitely sits at the functional spectrum. The team at Harrier have made something that's designed to be worn and kept on all day. They've also designed something that's really adaptable. It could be worn on its own. It's got a small stuff sack pocket at the back, which can also be used as a makeshift bum bag. You could wear it with a vest over the top or where the Exmoor excels the most, in my opinion, is with a pack-on underneath, with all the various features that allow you easy access. It's constructed using a soft and stretchy fabric that has a 15,000 mil hydrostatic head. Now, in layman's terms, that means it's pretty waterproof. It's really waterproof. But it might not be the sort of thing you'd want to go out in on a full apocalyptic winter's day. But for more general year-round use, it's absolutely perfect. Gore-Tex, it's not, but equally, at 89 pounds, you'd be looking at paying 200 pounds more minimum to get the equivalent in Gore-Tex. It's also significantly softer and quieter than Gore-Tex, which is another bonus for those who don't like that rustling sound whilst they're out running. Now, the one thing I'll mention is that size-wise, I think the Exmoor does size up a little large. I'm a medium, and this feels more like a medium plus. I'd be intrigued to see how the small felt but the thing about the medium that is really attractive is when you are wearing it over a pack. When you've got a vest on, this sizes up perfectly. And like I said before, for me, that has been the greatest thing about the Exmoor. Were there to be a caveat to that, it's that it potentially feels a little bit looser and baggier whilst I'm not wearing a vest and I'm just wearing it on its own. When it comes to features, Harry have put a lot of attention into the hood, which features a peak at the top and a good seal around the sides. There's adjustment by two toggles at the front and a single at the back, so you can get a nice seal all around. And this is great on windy and wet days, where an ill-fitting hood can let a lot of water into the rest of the jacket. On the shoulders, there's silicon grip to keep the bag in its place. Now I've never noticed slippage on my bag before, but you definitely feel it being held far firmer with the silicon grip than you do without. The twin zips on the front are something that you're either gonna love or hate. Because they're offset, you don't have a zip right in front of your mouth. You've just got nice, soft fabric in front of your face. It also means it's really easy to access everything on both sides with the one zip, being used to remove the jacket and the other zip to either vent or to access things on the vest underneath. Were there to be a downside, it's that when you undo them slightly, 
whereas the central zipper tends to peel openly, these tend to sit a little awkwardly and can flap around whilst you're running. Now Harrier have included little press studs to help mitigate this, but as a result of this, I tended to run with zips up in order to avoid this. On the back of the jacket, Harrier have integrated a pleated back. Now this is really pretty subtle when you initially try the jacket on and isn't something you really notice until you put the jacket on over a running vest. And where with most jackets, that'll tend to feel really tight and restrictive, within the Exmoor waterproof jacket, it feels completely natural. This is probably one of my favorite features of the jacket because when you're running with a vest on a marginal day where maybe it's occasionally raining and then it's occasionally not, you don't always want to fully commit to wearing a waterproof you may just want to put it on, occasionally take it off. And if when you're doing that, you've got to take off your vest every time, it leads to a lot of inefficiency. So being able to leave on your vest and just occasionally put on or take off your jacket is a real bonus. The pit zips included are quite small, so don't offer a lot of airflow, but they do help and definitely help the jacket's credential as something that you keep on and can put over the top of your layers. And usually I am not the biggest fan of pockets on running jackets. But with the Exmoor jacket, the positive about having two pockets around the front and that bum bag around the back is that you can forego taking your own bum bag out and just include whatever you need in the various storage options available. The bum bag also doubles as a stuff sack, if you like stuff sacks. The jacket also features nice long arms and a thumb loop and a really good active cut that's further aided by its stretch componentry. When it comes to the Dartmoor pants, there's a little less to say because they are far more simple. It's the exact same waterproof fabric, which is great for leg wear because it's nice and stretchy, giving you again a fantastic sense of freedom of movement. Harry, I've also included long zips up the side, so it's really easy to put them on with shoes on not having to take them off, which is a real pain. There's a single pocket at the back, an elastication around the cuff, and that is it. They are simple. For £89, Harry have produced not only a fantastically competitively priced product, but also probably the most featured jacket I have reviewed in recent times. But I'd be really intrigued to see if they can make a more minimalist jacket at the same price point. 